Today on Unbox Daily, we have Barbie Spaghetti Chef. This doll and playset combo has a retail price of $24.99. And I found this one at Walmart. This playset comes with dough so that you can make spaghetti for the dolls. There is even a little notice at the bottom that says it contains wheat, is for ages three and up, and two dough colors are included. I'm sorry, but I just have to take a moment and appreciate the background of the packaging. It looks like a really cute little kitchen. Usually, I want the packaging to be like very simple so that it doesn't take like forever to get the toy out. But this is really cute. She's got like blue tile in there and everything. I am going to have to be very careful when opening up this box. On the back of the box, it says, did you know chefs make all kinds of dishes, but a fun food to cook is spaghetti. They cook all kinds of pasta and also make sauces. There are so many kinds of noodles from spaghetti to macaroni. The different shapes and flavors are endless. Some people like to eat their pasta with sauce and meatballs. Others prefer butter and cheese. If you were a spaghetti chef, what kind would you cook? Here is the You Can Be Anything Barbie stamp. The box says that the dough is safety tested and gentle and it may stain fabrics and other surfaces, avoid contact with carpet, clothing, walls, and furniture. So like a plastic surface only. Yeah, Play-Doh. I have many fond memories of scrubbing Play-Doh out of carpet. And at the bottom of the box, we see there are other fun little play sets like the smoothie chef and the bakery owner. Time to carefully open the box. Santa's little helper Santa's little helper We're Santa's little helpers We make the wheels go round Day and night, night and day Here in Christmas I did my best to save the packaging. We have a couple of little holes there, but I think far away? Here we go. Ugh. If it's far away, it might not be that noticeable. Okay, so here is the actual playset. On the bottom, we have a brick oven. The sides and shelves are made of plastic. The front of the oven and all of these items on the shelves are a printed paperboard, and it is hollow in the back. Then there is a white smooth countertop with a grill here and some little knobs. It continues up with some shallow shelves and a paperboard backing. A little rack with hooks to hold kitchen utensils. We have a large pot, a colander, plate, fork, cup. And on this side of the counter, there is a cutting board molded on top. It even has a wood grain. Can you see that? The doll is wearing a white shirt that has an apron printed on, black stretchy tights, a staple to every doll's wardrobe, comfortable blue shoes, and she has a plastic oven mitt that can just fit on her hand. The doll itself has the basic five points of articulation at the head, shoulder, and hip. And these shoes look awfully comfy. I bet we can get her to balance and stand. Yay! All right, let's make some spaghetti. With dough, you can play with. This is not for consumption, like don't eat it. It's just for playing. Oh, you get two in the same package. That's pretty cool. Ah, this is gonna mess up my nails. Here is the yellow and pink dough. And we have a press to make the spaghetti. So I pull off a small piece of dough, open the press, and there is a little cavity right there. So we're gonna put the dough inside. And now I just have to push down for the spaghetti to come out, so. Oh, I might want to do this over the pot. And the Barbie is just standing there watching to make sure I do this right. It's like my supervisor Barbie. All right, we're pushing down. Oh, it's working. I probably should put more dough in there because my spaghetti is kind of short and I've pushed it all the way down. Since this is just Play-Doh, I'm going to remove it from the little pasta press and we're gonna put it right back in. Now I'm going to use all the dough. All right, now let's make some spaghetti. Mm. 
teasing all the dough was probably not the best idea. But look, I have a whole pot of spaghetti. Let's try to take some out and be really careful. There we go, because we need to put some on the plate. Just make a cool little loop here. Instant doll spaghetti. Then I can use the pink dough and just make little tiny meatballs. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball. Oops, I really did lose it. Ah, uh, <laughs> I just did this completely out of order. First, you're supposed to make the spaghetti, then boil it, and then strain it, then put it on the plate. Are you trying to serve soggy spaghetti? Sorry. And this dough will start to dry out if you let it sit out for too long. So when not in use, make sure you put it back in the container. It is a little bit of a challenge to get all of the dough out of the press, especially if you put all of it in at one time. It might end up up here, which is like really difficult to get the dough out. So I would probably make my spaghetti in smaller batches in the future. But overall, that was a lot of fun. Using Play-Doh with the dolls adds a whole nother level of play. Just make sure you are playing in an area that is easy to clean because I have little bits of Play-Doh everywhere, like under my nails. And we'll see you tomorrow for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now. I plan the things I would say now I can